Can you format your ebook for free? The answer is yes, you can. Let me go ahead and show you. The first thing you want to do is come to Google and go ahead and search for Kindle Create, and you can click on Kindle Create Download. Let's go ahead and click here where it says Getting Started with Kindle Create. We want to go ahead and scroll down and where it says Download Kindle Create, go ahead and choose whether it's for a Windows computer or a Mac. Once you have selected it and you have downloaded it onto your computer, it will reflect like this. This is Kindle Create. If you have a manuscript and it is a Microsoft Word document, that's exactly what you would go ahead and upload onto Kindle Create so that you can start formatting it. It says format your manuscript from a text-based file for digital and print publication. We're going to go ahead and click on continue. Now we're going to go ahead and upload our document. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and upload my homeschool. It's a, it's a book that I uh, went ahead and wrote about homeschool and it's teaching others how to get started with homeschooling their children. I'm going to go ahead and click on that document. Once I import this file onto Kindle Create, I will be able to create the title page, the about the author. I can go ahead and choose the chapter titles, how they're going to appear and things like that. Okay, so we are in. Now we're going to get started on the formatting process. What we have here is my manuscript and I'm going to go ahead and start scrolling all the way down. Uh, as you can see here, some of these things are very messy. What I feel is very messy. And as I scroll up, I want to make sure we have right here. This is this would be considered the title page, right? And here we're going to have where it's this box that I'm moving here at the moment. It says suggested chapter titles. What Kindle Create will do sometimes it will extract what it considers to be your chapter titles and you would be able to either reject or accept them all. I'm going to go ahead and click on reject all and we're going to start the formatting process. The first thing we're going to look at is where it says front matter. I'm going to go ahead and click on that plus sign. And you, as you can see here, we have the copyright title page, table of contents, introduction, prologue, you name it. Whenever you click on one of these, let's say you click on title page, this is where you're going to add your title. And listen closely, you add the title, book subtitle, your author name, your publisher logo can be the logo for that you have created for your brand of books that would go here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Now let's say I want to go ahead and add a dedication. I click on dedication and this is where you would write it. So this book is dedicated to all the families that want to homeschool their children. Perfect. So now I would click on create page and then I would have that dedication there. But as you can see here, it would be considered the first page. If I scroll down, that's going to be the first page. We need that uh, title page. So let's go ahead and add the title page. I'm going to just go ahead and call it homeschool. And then here for the subtitle, I'll put get started author name. I'm just going to put MM and a create page. So now it created, you have a title page and a dedication. So it doesn't matter what order you do it in, the title page will always come first. Now, let's say, for example, I don't want to, you see how in the document, I had already put the copyright information. And let's say I want to go ahead and remove that. We can go ahead and do that. I can delete it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that front matter and we're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to add copyright here. What you do, you put your name and year of publication, 2024, and you put, all you have to do is click on create page. It'll create that copyright page for you, which is pretty neat. Now let's go ahead and say, you don't want to add anything more with your title page, your copyright page and dedication page. You're okay. That's when you're going to start creating your introduction page and you're going to start separating each chapter by chapter. Let's go all the way up. And here where it says thinking about homeschooling, what you must know before getting started, Maritza Mendoza. This was part of my title page. So let's go ahead and remove that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I don't want it. So that's a cool thing. You can always delete whatever you don't want. Now here where it says table of contents, 
You have your, I have an introduction, what I wish I would have known, the honeymoon phase, what must become the main focus. Do you have to follow a curriculum, getting, getting out and doubting the greatest gift. And now we have the introduction. To begin to separate each, uh, the introduction, the first chapter, the second, third, fourth, and fifth, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is where it says introduction, the best thing that you can do is go ahead and click on where it says elements. We're going to go ahead and click on chapter title. We're going to click on chapter title. As you can see, automatically, you're going to have it here to the left-hand side. This wasn't there before. So now we're going to go ahead and scroll down, okay? And let's say where it says, I wish I would have known what I wish I would have known, right? We're going to go ahead and highlight where it says what I wish I would have known. We're going to click on chapter title. Once again, boom, you have another chapter here. And you're going to continue to do that over and over again here where it says, let's see, let's go back to where it says de-schooling. We're going to go ahead and highlight that and we're going to click on chapter title and it's going to start reflecting over and over again. So let's say the honeymoon phase. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to click on chapter title. We have another title, another chapter going on here. And then I'm going to keep on scrolling down here. What must, what must become the main focus? Let's go ahead and click on chapter title again. And so on and so forth. You just continue to do that to every single chapter. As you can see here, now you have different chapters with the chapter title in bold. What you would want to do if you want to go ahead and create a table of contents is go all the way to the top where it says front matter. We're going to click on that plus sign. Now we can go ahead and click on table of contents. We're going to click on that. And the contents here says title page, copyright, dedication, introduction, what I wish I would have known. Now we can start seeing that uh, Kindle Create is starting to generate the TOC, the table of contents based on what we are continuing to add based on what we're doing here, which is the uh, making sure we highlight the chapter title and cl cl click on chapter title. Now you have an actual uh, table of contents. And the reason why it's in blue is because now when this file is generated and exported, you're going to, the, the, the reader on Kindle will be able to click on, let's say, for example, deschooling, and it will take them directly to that deschooling, that chapter specifically. So it's a clickable table of contents. All you would need to continue to do from here on out is just go ahead and continue to work on each and every chapter. You can go ahead and start changing the font by clicking where it says formatting. You can go ahead and change the font. You can change the size. Uh, you can change the paragraphs, whether you want them to be centered or placed to the left. Indents, spacing. I'm going to go ahead and click on indents and then spacing. You are in full control of what you want to do with your ebook. Now, if you want to go ahead and have a preview, you can. Let's say you're done and you can go ahead and click on preview at the top and it'll formulate a preview for you. All you have to do is click and This is exactly how it will appear to your Kindle readers. Once you are done with the formatting process, all you would need to do is click out of this preview setting and you're going to click on, well, save it obviously, but you want to click on export. It's going to export what it says here, a KPF file, or this is one of the formats or an EPUB file. You click on export, you save it onto the computer, and now you're ready to upload this file onto your Amazon KDP account and publish your book. I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and share it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next video. God bless.